Hey y'all, so we got two guests here today, Yandy and his wife. What's going on? They came down, I mean up to see us. Up, up not down. Going up from and then, um, yeah, it was such a nice day today that we decided to do a barbecue. Um, we got some ribs, some ribs, sausages, <laughs> chicken breast. Um, we got the good old sweet baby ray, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. I really recommend that. Yep, and then we also did some corn. And yes, we only do charcoal, no propane. But yeah, Yanni brought his forerunner, so let's go take a look. Yanni, your forerunner was so far. I know, that's what Steve was telling Yeah. yeah. And uh, Yanni's got a full three inch lift. Yeah, but his So two key differences. Mines have the Bilstein ARB spring setup, whereas Yandy has the Dobinson medium duty um, coils and strut. His sits just a little bit taller. I'm not sure if you guys can see it from pictures, but. Maybe I shouldn't say just a little bit. It's a lot taller than mine's. There you go. You can see the main difference. You gotta cut this here? Yeah. You gotta cut that thing off? Yeah, because, because, you know, that piece went all the way wrapped around oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> going on YouTube so last time we installed the upper control arm we busted the ABS sensor line so it was giving us an ABS code error uh, when, uh, when we scanned it and so we are going to be fixing the ABS line today um, I order the part online and it's here so let's go ahead and fix that today So this right here is the part number for the ABS sensor for the front left. So the front driver's side. This bolt here needs to be loosened. This is a 10 millimeter nut, so let's go ahead and do that. take off this piece here and this is also a 10 millimeter okay, so put your screws somewhere safe comes off And now we have to get this piece right here out. Press in. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah. Press in and then push. Press this little tab here. 
Next you have one more 10 millimeter bolt, um, kind of near the wheel hub assembly here. So go ahead and unbolt that. Okay, so next thing you want to do is you want to you want to take the connector, which is right here, off, and then there should be a 10 millimeter bolt. That little bolt right there has to be taken off. Okay, so I ran out of battery as I was doing this, so I could not record the process, but just a recap. Um, I went ahead and I uh, took off the old one um, after I took off the bolt on top of here. Um, and then I put on the new one. So it's now good to go. And then I plugged it in. And uh, the old one is right here. What had happened was as I was installing the new JBA upper control arm, I had forgotten to loosen up this bolt here. So as, yeah, so as I took off the castle nut here, this thing dropped and it overextended and probably snapped one of the copper lines in here. So um, my VSC was on and my EBS light was on. So I went ahead and I replaced it. And uh, now that's gone. So as always guys, thanks for watching the Spy Channel. Thanks.